EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the New England Patriots. This will be fielded inside the five. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. The first carry for the North Texas man is Jeff Wilson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. The throw over the middle taken in. And they're going to get this up to midfield. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Only needing two yards on second down. They'll run straight ahead with Wilson. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Two and now on first down. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Up the middle they go with Moster. A little juke, and this winds up a gain of four to the 41. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And that will be incomplete. I have a few questions about that throw because to me, there just wasn't a lot there. I thought he tried to do a little bit too much, almost tried to will a receiver open when there was no chance he was going to be. Nice job by the linebacker being all over that one and knocking it away. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. And deep to return it is Marcus Jones. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Now Jones. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet inbounds, toe tapping, and, of course, foot dragging little tapestry if you will oh I like it to throw again on second down Jones Hunter Henry brings it in that one a first down pickup of eight that was a route run not just with dexterity but with intelligence found the hole in the zone made sure the quarterback saw him and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one so from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing Jones. And a little floater there, but it'll wind up incomplete, falling to the ground. 
from the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A gain of 22. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? First a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play you can just finish them off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two, and that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight, now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. Down to the 22-yard line. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second and six. Back to throw. Jones got his man complete over the middle. That's Henry. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game, and nice pass there. Now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner, and that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. That doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. On second down, it's Stevenson. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Ramondre Stevenson. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Pats put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Nick Folk for the point after. And he gets it to make it 7-0 Patriots. set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Fielded just outside the goal line. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. 
He's past the 30. He will score. Touchdown, Miami. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. scored 7-7 here as the kicks away fielded just outside the goal line well, a dangerous return man showing it here Marcus Jones and he'll bring it back all the way touchdown Patriots Extra point up and good by Folk. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. Taken in at the three. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. On play action, here's Tua. And his throw here is incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They'll run right side with Mostert. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Third and one, and Tua wants to throw it. He is going to find Hill here. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Setting a throw on first down is Tua. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Here's second and a yard. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. Open man downfield is Hill. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 58 yards. And the Dolphins are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, 
That should have been done in Big Sky Country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there. And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And Marcus Jones going to elect to bring this one out. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Pats at the line ready to go. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking... My replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones. And over the middle, this is Parker. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Straight ahead at Stevenson. Give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Looking to throw. Jones. It's complete to Parker left side. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 38-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get... And Henry's hit. He lost the football, and his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Mostert. Oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Next, the receivers have spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. He'll get it inside the 20, and they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air. Nice under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judon. Pretty entertaining start. 14 all the score on EA Sports. 
It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter as they've got it facing a second and long situation. Another try after the first down sack. Tua toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Well, partner, guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Back-to-back incompletions, and it was once a nice try. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. The kick by Sanders is good, and the Dolphins have come back now to regain the lead. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. To the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when oh. they only gave up the field yeah. goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think the coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. Now he dumps this off over the middle. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Jones off the play fake and he's left with no option here but to throw it away not much going on this drive looks like they're going to have to punt it away CD and right now I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up get away from what he's been calling sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called fourth down Corliss Waitman now on to punt So not just running into the punter, but roughing the punter. And I'm struggling with this one. You know, you're watching it, partner. Is it more the first rather than the latter? This is a tough one. Almost feels like he felt like he had to call it on that play. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Jerome Baker there on the tackle. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Looking to throw on second down. Jones eluding the pressure right. And that is incomplete. It'd be interesting to see what he decides to do the next time he's in the position we just saw there. Outside of the pocket, takes a throw downfield, it turns up incomplete. I wonder if next time he might take off and run. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Back to throw. Jones. He'll get this underneath to Stevenson. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. 
Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones got the connection here to board. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. They go play action here on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Give the sack to Jerome Baker. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. New England on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and 14. Back to throw, Jones. Henry's got it, out on the left side. So they decline it as that will bring up fourth. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played, but you've got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties. And they wisely did not take that one and made it fourth down. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right, baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Here's Tua. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. On second and ten, Tua. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope it didn't come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Tua sets up to pass it. They're going deep for Hill. And unable to connect. Incomplete. I give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And yeah, the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. They juked him. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Patriots take over. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. 
So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier, but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They run once more with Stevenson. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. Here's Jones off the bootleg. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Throwing now is Tugavailoa. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Give him 32 on the play. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Nice chunky yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Coming up on a second and six. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 34-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. A handoff running left is Mostert. 44 yards on the ground for him so far. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Again, they'll run it with Moster. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Two are going to throw. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. And they pick up the first down there with a gain of four. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Mostert quick, and he drops the ball. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. On second down, Mostert. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 
A solid pickup at 13 sets him up first and goal. This is a very impressive drive, especially when you consider where they started from to now be set up first and goal. Yeah, it's a nice running right there. That's what got him the first down. But at this point, I suggest open up your playbook. You can call just about what you want. Here's Mostert. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now they'll hand it off to Wilson. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Jeff Wilson. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Did my eyes deceive me, or was that an eye formation play that was just run there for a touchdown? A little old-school eye. How about that? Was that a fullback, tailback, running it into the end zone? Well, that's what that fullback's for, right? That's why you use that. Let him pave the way. Oh, without a doubt. He's an extra blocker, and he did his job well on that play. Kick it away after the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession in the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. From the 30 on second down, Jones. They set up the screen for Stevenson. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And it brings up third and five now. Now the Patriots moving quickly, hustling up to the line. Jones now from the gun on third down. He's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A first down and then some, 36 yards. I think it's pretty safe to say that initially they had to be thinking about trying to get into field goal range. But after that shot right there, they've got to be thinking bigger right now. And that was probably their thought offensively. If we hit this, great, let's go for the end zone. If not, settle for a field goal. Looks like they can try to hit pay dirt. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing again on second down, Jones. And this one incomplete. Oh, he couldn't hang on to it in the end zone, and that's one that'll haunt you. And now it brings up third down. 
I know you felt like saying touchdown there, didn't you, partner? That looked like a sure six points, but the contact jarred it free. Got his hands on it, could not hold on through the end of the play. They'll look to throw again. Being chased, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Bradley Chubb doing what he does best, getting that sack. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Up the middle. Here's Stevenson. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. We know that old expression. It's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 60 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 39-yard line. Now Jones. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. Throwing Jones. And that is, I think he caught it. He did, but they'll say out of bounds. It'll be incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. On the handoff, Stevenson. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Now a play fake here on first down. And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sacked back at the nine-yard line. Jalen Phillips, the former first-rounder, getting in there for the sack. 
Well, if you're going to throw the ball on first and goal from the two, the worst thing that should result is an incompletion for you offensively. But Brandon, this is a different type of football. Back in my day, first and goal from the two, a lot of big people with big neck rolls, they were on the field trying to ram it into the end zone. Yeah, he's got it. They'll wind up getting seven on the completion, but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation. Stevenson is into the end zone. Touchdown, New England. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker just has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although, I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Full connects on the extra point, and that will tie us at 24. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kicks away here. Taken in at the three. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. 72 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Possibly a good spot here to take a shot as they come out with three receivers to the left on second and less than a yard. Once again, it's Mostert. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. That now brings up a very interesting, identical situation on third down. Yeah, people couldn't see us on camera, but I love how you motioned to me, like, throw the ball. This is a great shot to take it, second and short. Maybe take a big shot downfield. Instead, they ran it. Didn't work out for them very well. They should listen to you, partner. And now Mostert is going to be stopped up short. He did not get there. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on to kick it away. Jones on the return. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And they will take over first and 10. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. Second down at four. Looking to throw. Jones, open man, completes it to Smith-Schuster. A six-yard pass on back-to-back -back plays, picks up the first. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out, two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together, just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. Jones throwing on first down. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. 
Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. To the right side, this is Stevenson. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He's got his man. It's Kendrick Bourne. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 28. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Stevenson now on first and 10. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. No gain on the play there. Second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Again, it's Stevenson. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. 94 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. Now a handoff, Stevenson. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. On second and seven, Jones. He'll dump this down to Stevenson. And the Patriots are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Here's Stevenson. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there, second and goal. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Again, Stevenson. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Back to throw. Jones. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Patriots have scored again in this third quarter, this time to move out in front. No surprise there, third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, he might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area.
Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. The end result, 21 yards. with Mostert up the middle. And he is going to lose yardage here. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. It's Dolphin football, but they trail here as we get set for the fourth. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And it's third and four now. Now Tua. Got a man, it's Waddle complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. And that's understanding where the markers are because it's not just running to them. Because on the catch, you can actually be pushed back before the first down. He's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drip back towards the first down line and still having picked it up. Really well run. On target over the middle to Hill. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he has to get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. Three yards remain for second down. Two and a throw again. Tyreek Hill's got another one. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. They'll run straight ahead with Wilson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. From the 30 on second down, Tua, and they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Looking to pass to him. And that almost intercepted. Oh, they would have loved to have their first pick of the game right there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Fourth down, fourth quarter. Here's Tua. That's Tua's running back complete. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. Now Jones, off play action, and caught by Henry. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there, freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Oh, 
On second down, it's Stevenson. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Back to Stevenson on first down. And taken down just shy of the 40. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. They run once more with Stevenson. And some room to work. Now, he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big run there, 29 yards and a first. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Meanwhile, Jones throw here, taken in by Gesicki. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. From the 30 on second down, Jones, open receiver here, complete, it's Parker. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 13-yard line. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Oh, he caught it. Just couldn't get the feet down. Couldn't get that toe tap sequence, right? I was ready to call him tippy toes if that one was completed. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. Forced out to his left. To the end zone but it's incomplete. Well, he's got to be careful with this game where it is Charles throwing those out patterns, right? You're exactly right, because this is why we always hear teams say, late in the game, you're trying to close things out. You'll work the middle of the field more than the outside portion, because if you throw one out there that hangs a little bit or you float it, it can be picked off and returned for a touchdown. And boy, what a dramatic turn of events that would be. Third down throw incomplete as well. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. The folks' kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. out is Nick Folk to kick this one off. This one fielded at the five. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. 
And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. A gain of three, second down. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. The offense on third down tonight, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and seven. Tua sets up to pass it. That's going to be caught by Waddle. And a good job defensively. They stopped him short of the first at the 32. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture as now they've got a first and 10. Here's Tua. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. From the 45 on second down, Tua getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, try to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up the first down. On first and 10, it's Mostert. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Setting the throw on first down is Tua. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tua fighting his old Alabama teammate, Jalen Waddle. And the Dolphins have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him. Let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right? RAC. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. Kick it away after the touchdown. No run back here for Jones. A touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts at early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. 
from the 29. Jones, he'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. It'll go as a gain of four, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. Well, that was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. This is third and two, maybe the biggest play in this football game. Now Jones. This one to board, and he's got it. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And it's a room to maneuver. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. Right back to him on first down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. This is Stevenson. He's down inside the 10 to the 8. And it comes on a gain of 8. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. It's second and goal, back to the eight-yard line now. And they run with Stevenson. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. So stuff for no gain on second down brings up a pretty interesting third from this distance. I'm throwing the ball, and I'm not even thinking about play pass. I'm going to let them know right away I'm throwing it, but I'm probably giving my quarterback some room, sprint him out to one side or the other, and give him an opportunity that if it breaks down, he can take off and run for it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. We all 
Jones has got a heck of a show, partner. This was a close game for a long time. Close at half, close down the stretch. Home team finds a way to get it done, a narrow victory. Yeah, they finished with a flourish, didn't they? Because there are times where each side looked like they were the better team out there. And the outcome is in doubt for much of this game. Every snap seemingly more important than the previous one. A great effort from the guys visiting. But in the end, how about those guys in their home stadium finding a way to win?